Austin Butler, Tom Hardy, and Jodie Comer grace the screen in the forthcoming film The Bike Riders, directed by Jeff Nichols. This highly anticipated movie delves into the world of 1960s outlaw motorcycle gangs, portraying their transformation from free-spirited bike enthusiasts to violent gang members. After a delay from its original December 1st release, the film is set to premiere on June 21st. Inspired by Danny Lyon's iconic photography, which documented the Chicago chapter of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club in the 1960s, The Bike Riders brings to life the gritty reality of this subculture. Lyon's work, initially recognized for his civil rights movement photos, gained further acclaim with his 1968 photo book, The Bike Riders, capturing the raw sense of the biker community. In conjunction with the film's release, a new photography book titled Vandals, the photography of the bike riders has been published by Inside Editions and New Regency. This 160-page hardback, photographed by Brian Shutmont and Carl Bono Kaplan, serves as a visual companion to the film, reflecting its spirit and style. Photographer Brian Shutmott explained to The Hollywood Reporter the challenge of honoring Lyon's seminal work without directly imitating it. He aimed to channel Lyon's curiosity and vitality, similar to how Austin Butler approached his role as Elvis by embodying his spirit rather than merely impersonating him. Kaplan echoed this sentiment, describing the project as a tribute to Lyon and the fearless photographers of that era. Director Jeff Nichols, a longtime admirer of Lyon's work, spent over a decade developing the film. Nichols initially struggled with how to adapt Lyon's material, balancing the need for authenticity with creative freedom. By fictionalizing certain elements, Nichols was able to capture the essence of Lyon's photographs and the emotional impact they conveyed. Lyon himself played a crucial role in the film's development, providing Nichols with access to his original prints, contact sheets, and audio recordings of interviews with club members. These resources helped the actors, including Butler, Hardy, and Comer, to accurately portray the voices and mannerisms of their real-life counterparts. The film's attention to detail extends to its period-accurate costumes and Holly Davidson motorcycles, curated by stunt coordinator Jeff Milburn. The result is a vivid and authentic portrayal of the 1960s biker culture, praised by The Hollywood Reporter as a gorgeous, violent love letter to outsiders. For Lyon, seeing his work and the people he once knew immortalized on screen is both nostalgic and poignant. He fondly recalls his friendships with club members and the personal connections that allowed him to capture their stories so intimately. His own presence in the film, riding his Triumph motorcycle, brought back memories of the outlaw biker spirit that defined his youth. The Bike Riders movie and the accompanying photo book Vandals offer a deep, immersive look into a bygone era, paying homage to the rebellious spirit and gritty reality of 1960s motorcycle gangs.